Hi there, my name is Eli, and welcome back to my channel, Draculija. And today has been a very exciting day. We had stock photos leak for an upcoming line in Generation 3 called Monster Fest. It is based off of like a desert themed music festival, you know, kind of like Coachella, things like that. Which, funny enough, I am not like the biggest fan of desert, I don't know, fashion, not desert fashion, but like festival fashion, you know? I don't know. I feel like Coachella has become less about the music and more about the fashion. And I could go on a rant about that, but it's really unserious at the end of the day. But when this type of concept was translated into doll form, I actually think they look really, really good and really compelling and charming. I think these dolls look amazing. I feel like this might be the strongest generation three line we've had so far. And, you know, maybe it shows the success of the brand. Like this brand has been successful and maybe the budget's increasing because these dolls look really good so i'm gonna go through the stock images we're first gonna go top to bottom we're gonna take a look at the hair face like makeup and the crown then we're gonna look at the fashion overall then we're gonna take a look at the shoes and then we're gonna close it out with our overall thoughts like a comprehensive rating i think it'll be pretty fun you know it's a little bit more complex than just like randomly staring at the photos and trying to give my ideas i feel like if i have a little bit more structure it just helps me out and hopefully it's more entertaining as well we shall see but yeah let's go ahead and get started Okay, so first thing we're going to rank is going to be their hair, makeup, and the flower crown. I'm going to rank it on a 1 through 10 system. I feel like it's going to be pretty generous because I really like these designs. So let's get started. And the first school we're taking a look at is Frankie Stein. Right off the bat, love this hair. Okay, so I feel like we've had so <laughs> many iterations of these five characters. Granted, we don't have Draculaura in this lineup of four. But she is coming in a deluxe playset in like a food truck deluxe playset or something like that. So we don't know what she looks like, but Draculaura is included. Do not fear. Monster High would not dare to leave her out of a line, I'm sure. But if we are going to keep getting these five over and over again, I do want them to look different enough where I'm compelled to add them to my collection. Granted, I'm still probably going to add them to my collection anyways. But, you know, I, I would like them to be different enough and stand out in my collection. And right off the bat, this hair is so fun. It feels like we just had Stitch in the style, like the alumni doll that had also tons of black hair. So I'm glad that they're leaning into that with Frankie. Like they don't always need to have that, you know, signature Frankenstein platinum white. They can switch it up a little bit. And I'm really loving this hair. Love that they're the only one in the line that has bangs. I hope the bangs look as good as they do in these photos. You never know with Mattel because Feardescent bangs were rough, but they, those are poly bangs. I think these all look like Saran just going off of stock photos, the way the hair is laying. And I feel like Mattel is learning that they need to stop with the poly. So if I had to go out on a limb, I would say I'm like 90% confident this is Saran. I'll eat my words if they turn out to be poly, but pretty sure these are Saran. And yeah, the makeup is gorgeous. It's very similar to what we keep seeing from Frankie, like what we saw on Amped Up and Neon Frights, like very electric neon makeup but it looks really good. It fits the festival theme. I love the sort of smudged lightning, like pink and blue on the sides. I love, I love Frankie's makeup. It always looks so good. The lip is cool. It doesn't look like it's pure black. It almost looks a little bit like metallic-y, steel, nickel kind of, if that made sense. I think the one thing I'm not really loving is this headpiece. I get what they're going for, right? Frankie has a very pronounced like motifs and themes based off of Frankenstein. So lots of like nuts and bolts and lightning and I, I get it but it's just ugly like not that it doesn't fit with her theming it's just ugly you know I, I think it's ugly i get that the flowers are meant to be made out of like are those nuts or are those bolts or are those the same thing i'm not too sure but you know i get what they're trying to go for i just don't like it but it's okay it's okay i'm gonna give this rinky a nine out of ten the hair is definitely caring for me i don't love the flower crown let that be known but i can look past it Okay, and then moving on to Claudine. Once again, talking about the hair. I, oh my God, if this is Saran and it's this bright, beautiful purple, I'm gonna cry. It looks so good. I love Claudine in like a nice fantasy hair color. And also like just this flower crown is what I imagine when I think of like Coachella 2012, like Lana Del Rey vibes is this picture of Claudine. Like it's so spot on. It's so perfect. I, I, I know this girl. I went to high school with this girl like stunning probably the most subdued makeup but in no 
in no way does that mean it's bad. Like, I think the freckles are like stars, you know, like galaxy freckles. So very trendy. I love this shade of lipstick. It's very similar to her, what was it? Ghoul Spirit. Ghoul Spirit also had that sort of like rich berry red lip. And we only ever saw it on that doll. So I'm glad we're getting that similar shade of lip. It looks so good on Claudine. I have no complaints. I have no complaints. The headpiece, the makeup, the hair, 10 out of 10. 10s across the board. And onto Laguna. Okay, so I feel like Claudine, Laguna, and Cleo, their design principles and aesthetic, they lend themselves very well to this line, this theme of like Coachella Desert Festival theme. I don't feel like Frankie's design does lend itself well to this theme. And I feel like that's why maybe people are turned off by Frankie from like what I've gathered. Granted, I still love Frankie. But yeah, I feel like Laguna just, this just makes sense, right? Like we have a little seashell coral crown. Like I know girls like this too. I know girls just like this who love the ocean, love mermaids, love the sea. It looks stunning. I think her makeup is my least favorite. Doesn't mean I hate it, but have we gone a side glance Laguna? I do not know. I'm going to look at my Lagunas. Maybe? No, have we? I can't verify. This might be our first side glance Laguna. I don't know. Also, her hair isn't as exciting, I think, as Claudine or Frankie, but it does appear to be that more like platinum-y toned blonde that we saw in her Spa Day doll. So I love that. I prefer this shade versus the more yellowy shade of blonde that we typically see on Laguna. And there's not a lot that's bad with it. The hair is very simple, simple middle part. I just think the makeup's like, meh. So I'm going to give Laguna a 9 out of 10. Still pretty, still pretty generous, if you ask me. And moving on to Cleo. Oh, stunning. No words. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is Saran. I can tell by looking at it, the shade of blue. This is definitely Saran. And I love how they're pulling out that like teal green for this doll. I feel like she needed something fun for her color story. And I'm glad that's the color they chose to go with. It is very like nephra coated which is fine maybe that's a hit nephra's coming soon who knows the crown is perfect crown is beautiful earrings are beautiful makeup stunning love the lip color i don't think i have a single complaint i think she's also 10 out of 10 for miss cleo denial okay and now we're going to move on to the next score that we're going to be taking a look at or the next ranking we're going to look at like the fashion so some of the ghouls have either skirts pants asymmetrical pants uh, I think like a mini dress, jackets, things like that. And then they also all have a belt as well as like a chunky necklace. So it's going to be all of those things combined into one singular rating. Okay, once again, going back to Frankie, like I said earlier, I feel like their motifs and design aesthetic does not lend itself very well to this overall line. And so I feel like because of that, they maybe stand out. They lean more rave than they do desert music festival which is fine i feel like they, it was good that they took frankie in that direction like the the necklace has their name spelled out in beads which is very similar to like candy like rave culture so i do like that touch and they have gloves which is cool they're like plastic gloves another cool thing from this line i was confused at first but they all come with two bracelets and it looks like one of those bracelets is like uh like to get in the festival, like for modern music festivals, you now get a little bracelet and that sort of serves as your ticket kind of. So I like that they both give them a bracelet and a little ticket prop. I think that's really cool. I don't love their belt just because it's just like that shade of green. It, this belt definitely needs paint detail. And something else weird about Frankie, they keep sort of being an anomaly in a way that they don't seem to have an extra fashion piece. Maybe I'm just reading into it, but Jumping ahead of myself, Claudine has a jacket, Laguna sort of has this iridescent skirt, and even Cleo's, whether it's a shirt or it's a, a jacket, it's very like a bold silhouette. I feel like Frankie doesn't have that extra oomph from what I'm seeing. Maybe I'm reading into it, but they just seem to stand out a little bit. Like their design seems a little sparse. Like I like the silver fringe on the pants, and I, I am a little tired of constantly seeing like an asymmetrical pant from Frankie. Granted, I get it. You know, we want to highlight their prosthetic and their prosthetic is very cool, but that's going to be talked about in the shoe portion. But yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Overall, not my favorite. Honestly, this print also I hated when I first saw this design, but once I've like sat with it a little bit longer, it it's grown on me in, in the slightest, just, just a teensy bit. So for this Frankie, I'm going to give them a 7 out of 10 
for fashion. I think that's even honestly probably a little generous. And moving on to Claudine. Okay, so I like with Claudine's design here, fashion-wise, like it's not reinventing the wheel. It's very simple as far as like the pieces we have. We have a jacket, we have a little top, we have a skirt, right? But I think all of those things are executed very, very well. The color story is very interesting. I feel like at first that bright pink pleathery material for the jacket threw me off, but I don't mind it. No, I do mind it. I do mind it. I don't love it. I don't love that color. But that's probably my thing, like the biggest thing that I'm not a fan of is just that color. Overall, I think her her belt's very plain. The necklace is very pretty. I love the fur and how the fur on the jacket ties into the shoes. Honestly, I'm just went over by the fur on this doll. I'm just glad we're getting fur. And this looks like good fur. Sometimes when it's all, it doesn't use the greatest quality. So fingers crossed, you never know. But yeah, like I said, this design for Claudine isn't reinventing the wheel, but it's still very solid. I love the cosmos galaxy print for it works really well for claudine and i think she's a solid nine out of ten something about the jacket is keeping me from giving her that full 10 so nine seems pretty fair and moving on to laguna blue hmm <laughs> i don't know i don't like this little mini dress i think it's a i think it's a mini dress the print is okay i can't fully make it out it looks like there's some like algae and seaweed and seashells it's fine I do love the like iridescent jellyfish skirt that fits the vibes so well. It looks so good as well. Does a lot for her silhouette. I also like, kind of jumping ahead of myself here, but I like how the belt ties in with the purse. I think that's really cohesive. Her necklace is ugly. I think it's ugly. I don't really like it. It's, I can't really make out even what it is. Is it a jellyfish? Is that a jellyfish? I don't know. It's okay. I don't love it. And... Yeah, I'm going to give them, I don't know, her. I'm going to give Laguna 8 out of 10. I'm not, like, obsessed with this fashion. I think it'll look pretty. I think that little jellyfish iridescent skirt will be fun for restyles, but I'm not, like, too enthralled with this design, not too captivated. It's just it's just kind of simple for me. And moving on to Cleo. Okay, I'm looking closely at Cleo's top here, and I cannot tell for the life of me if that is one top if it's also together, or if it's like a jacket over a t-shirt. The way it's look, the way it looks in the stock photo, it looks like it's all one sew together piece, which I don't know how I feel about that. It is still really gorgeous. Like this is probably where a lot of the budget went into for this Clio. That material is beautifully draped. And on the edges, it even is like trimmed with like actual kind of tassels. We've seen that before, I think in her Fear Descent doll. So looks really good. Love the necklace. Also, this belt. I feel like this is the best belt. It harkens back to her G1 signature core doll. I don't love the pants, though. The print, I don't love. And I don't love the cut. I can't. Is it? A, it's not even a pant. It's probably like a capri if we're being official here. I don't love that. So taking all of that into account, I love the top. I don't love the bottom. Mm, I, I'm going to give them a seven. Yeah, I think. I don't know. Also, because the top seems to be one piece, I, like I said, I can't tell if, until I have the product in hand or until someone can verify. But just going off of what I'm seeing, I think it's okay. I think I've seen better from Clio. I just have a Clio bias, so it's hard for me to not want to rank them higher. But I think seven, seven seems pretty fair and pretty solid for their fashion. And moving on to our next category, which is the shoes. I'm so happy. These are all unique shoe molds, which I'm always a fan of. It makes me, like I said, more compelled to want to buy the doll if everything included is brand new and unique, new sculpts, things like that. And starting off with Frankie. So what's going on here is Frankie's prosthetic appears to be like a disco ball. And then both of their shoes are that same like disco ball print or pattern. And so then their prosthetic looks like one huge disco ball leg. And it is so cool it is so crazy whoever thought of this design hats off to you because i feel like frankie has the most unique aesthetic at the end of the day it's leaning western with the fringe and then you got like disco and rave like it's got so much going on but i feel like they're that friend at the rave who you're like i don't know how you came and put these clothes on but whatever you did it works and like for whatever reason this just really works the heel is interesting too it looks like that like lightning bolt piece is on like a hinge like you could maybe rotate it Kind of, it kind of reminds me of a cowboy boot, like a spur almost. So I think that's pretty cool. And yeah, 
I'm pretty happy with it. I, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. And moving on to Claudine. Love the fur. The fur tie, ties back to the coat. Like, love the cohesion from the designs. These are very strappy, very like apropos for the Monster Fest. They just feel like they fit in the universe. The heel is very interesting. Like these feel fashion. These feel fun. Even with extra paint detail, they'd be gorgeous. But even as is, stunning. Love them. Mm, yeah, even being open toe feels good. They look really good. This feels like we're hearkening back to G1, which I'm never like, that's not something that I'm really like nitpicky on, but these just feel quintessential classic monster high they look so good and it's a, it's gonna be tens across the board 10 out of 10 for claudine okay moving on to laguna blue at first i was hesitant about this design but the more i sit with it the more i do really really like it i will say in my own like personal time playing with g3 laguna and just laguna in general her fins do limit her like shoe designs even when I want to give her like socks or I want to like play with her and dress her up, it can be difficult to come come up with a really unique cohesive style. And so this looks really fun. I like the like pearl cuff around the leg. I like the pink mesh sock and the black shoe. Something about it just works really well for me. And I feel like this, the shoes actually feel like make her design. Because I feel like the upper half was a little bit plain. And I feel like with the shoes, like I kind of see everything come together. They're also amazing shoes there's like an octopus tentacle there's like a fish scale pattern on the straps and then there is a dead fish bone heel that has like an actual fish globe over it like these shoes are insane these might be some of the best g3 laguna shoes granted they have very like minimal paint detail but i still think they look gorgeous and i really love this i'm glad we got the sock the budget is is here with monster fest and i'm gonna give this laguna a 10 out of 10 and lastly, we have Cleo. Yeah, I, I don't like it. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's a little too simple. I feel like the previous three were so stunning and innovative and fun. This just feels a little basic. And then even with the Capri, it's just really bad. Like, I don't like it. it it's just, it's very like matronly, which I don't think is the vibes you want to give off for Monster Fest. Like, it reminds me of like Chico's. If you know what Chico's is, it's not a good thing. Um, I do like the color. I like the color. The heel's okay. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. And I think that's generous, honestly. Yeah. That's final answer. 7 out of 10 for Cleo's shoes. Okay, so that was me rating all of the individual elements. Now I'm going to rate the final doll, everything put together, including some additional pieces I didn't quite get to take a look at earlier, such as the purse and the sunglasses. They also have tons of cool food accessories, but I'm not going to get too in-depth to all that. But yeah, starting off with Frankie Stein, seeing everything together, like this is how I imagine you would display the dolls. And something about this line that I just love is they feel complete like i feel like i can get them maybe wash their hair and they're good to go like they feel like they need very little done to them and i love my monster high dolls but some of them take a lot of work to make them look good and make them reach their full potential these feel like they're at their maximized potential which is what i want from mattel which is what i want from the brand so overall i'm very happy frankie seeing everything together i love their purse and glasses how they both have hearts She's stealing, you know, Draculaura's flair. I do not care. The bag is really cool. We're seeing more of that, like, electrical plug tied in from their earrings, which is fun. Yeah. Even, like, the, the handle looks like it's, like, a lifeline. Love the bag. The glasses are gorgeous. You have to just be okay with Frankie's design aesthetic. If you don't like, <laughs> if you don't like pink, blue, and sometimes yellow, and sometimes green all together, you're probably just not going to vibe with G3 Frankie. I love it. They feel the most kooky and eclectic as far as fashion goes. Love the bangs. Seeing everything together, like I can accept the floral crown a little bit more in the final <laughs> in the final look. But I love this Frankie. Like this Frankie is one of the of the four. Like I'm just drawn to them. They're gonna be one of the first ones that I want to buy from this line. And because of that, because of that, I'm gonna rate them 10 out of 10. I don't care. Say what you want to say in the comments. I love them. I think they look so good. I'm a Frankie apologist. Sorry. And now moving on to Claudine. Wow. Gorgeous. 
the bag is stunning. I'm glad the bag is kind of bringing out more of that gold color from her. What does she have? What do her glasses look like? Oh, kind of like circle lenses. Okay, those look pretty cool. Yeah, I love her. I love her. I feel like, for whatever reason, the gold plastic I'm okay with versus like the flat, dull silver plastic. Like, if that makes any sense from Mattel. So the gold on her looks so good. I love Claudine. I feel like a lot of us started off G3 being Claudine haters. And it's not her fault. It's really Mattel's fault because they give her the terrible poly hair. And now that we're like kicking a year and a half. How long has this brand been going on? Like a year and a half now? Two years almost? I feel like Claudine is finally getting the love she deserves. I think she might be the best of the line. And... She deserves to be the best of the line because so many other lines she's been the worst of the line so this is finally claudine's time to be on top and seeing everything together beautiful beautiful she's a 10 out of 10 for me and moving on to laguna it's nice to see everything together like the shoes definitely like i said help tie this outfit in the purse the purse granted it is it does look like just a decal but it is a, very much a reference to her G1 signature doll with her little pet in there. What's the pet's name? Is it still Neptuno? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. This That purse is amazing. And like I said, I like how the purse ties into the belt. I still don't love the necklace. But overall, seeing her complete, stunning, gorgeous, gorgeous doll. I love Laguna as well. Like I said, I love all these dolls. So if that, if that upsets you, I'm sorry. But she's stunning. She's really stunning. I think... She doesn't have that much weak about her. I wish her lips were more full. Wish her earrings looked a little prettier. But I'm going to give Laguna a 9 out of 10. Very, very, very beautiful doll. And lastly, we're going to close it out with Miss Cleo Denial. These purses are killer because, once again, Cleo's purse is beautiful. I love that bag. Do they have sunglasses as well? I didn't really see Cleo's glasses. I know Laguna's were seashells, but in this image, I can't see... Cleo's glasses. Let me go back and see what they look like. Not that it matters, but like I just kind of want to see. I can't even tell what they are. They're interesting. Oh, they look like, you know what they look like? They look like scarab wings almost. If that that might be what they are, is like fluttering scarab wings, which if so is very, very cool. And they're kind of a translucent green. Wow, wowzers. I love that. See. Oh my god, this Cleo's beautiful too. I wanna I wanna be here and be like nasty and mean because I feel like that you know, <laughs> is more fun to watch. Be like, yeah, these dolls are ugly and terrible. But for so much of G3, that's kind of been the general vibe for some people. And so I hope Monster Fest turns it around because these are all stunning. I'm going to give Cleo 9 out of 10. If I had to rank them, I would probably rank number one, Claudine. Number two, Frankie. Number three, Cleo. And four, Laguna. And even though Laguna's fourth, like, it's a solid fourth. It's like, that's still a gorgeous doll. Like, in, by, in no, way, no way does that mean she's ugly or terrible. And I'm very excited to see Jackie Laura. Like I said, we're going to get Jackie Laura in, like, a food truck playset, supposedly. I'm curious how well she'll tie in with these four dolls. Something I've noticed is that when we get a doll that's in, like, a playset, sometimes it feels like they're designed not in tandem with the main line. And my two examples will be Spotty Laguna seems to be, like, a creepover tie-in. But if you look at Creepover, Draculaura, Claudine, and Frankie, and then you look at Laguna, they're not, they're not like that similar. They don't seem very synchronized. And that same phenomenon happened with Scared Ice. You look at Scared Ice, Laguna, and then you look at Scared Ice, Claudine, Draculaura, and Frankie, their designs aren't very synchronous either. So I'm curious how well Draculaura will mesh. Either way, I think she'll be stunning, gorgeous, beautiful, stunning, all that jazz. But I'm still curious. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. I hope you had fun. I love the stall line. I'm so excited. I'm very sad I did not pre-order any of them on Amazon. So, you know, eventually they will make their ways into my life. And I can't wait for that day. But that's all I have for you today. My name is Eli. Thanks for hanging out with me. Comment down below how you would rank these four dolls. Who's your favorite? All that fun stuff. If you don't like Frankie, please, please find it in your heart to change your mind because they are gorgeous. I love them. I'm going to convince everyone to like this Frankie doll, whether they like it or not. Okay. That's all I have. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.